Today is August 1st. It's like almost 3 o'clock. I thought it would be fun to get ready with you guys. A chat, like question and answer type of video. And yeah, so I'm listening to another Billie Eilish podcast. This one's with her brother and her dad. I'm just blown away. I don't know, it's kind of weird because I feel like not necessarily that famous people are like untouchable. I don't know. I feel like they just exist in a different world. Listening to music that's impacted their childhood, I guess, is kind of, I don't know, maybe like comforting because like we're the same age we existed when the same music came out like the stuff that impacted her childhood impacted mine i mean whatever but i think it's cool yeah okay first i have to start with some water primer but you're actually <laughs> sitting on it my tripod's broken so you're just sitting on heavy on right now so i'll just put you down you're gonna get a funky angle for a quick second I know some people might think like, what the heck, why are you wasting money on water? But two things. First, I got this on sale, like way on sale. Like, otherwise, I wouldn't pay 20 bucks for it. And it has vitamins in it, which is good for your skin. I'm guessing because vitamins, right? We already have moisturizer on and everything. I'm going to start with doing my eyebrows. This is just going to be sped up. Okay, I got together a little list of like generic questions to answer while I'm doing my makeup. The first thing is, have you ever met anyone famous? So this is kind of a loaded question, I guess. I've met Alexander23 and he's so sweet. Like I talk to him still. He's like one of the sweetest guys. We actually have matching friendship bracelets, this one. But yeah, so he's super sweet. I met him twice outside of Chelsea Cutler's concert and Alec Benjamin's concert. I need to actually do my makeup while I'm responding. To these. Like super down to earth. Like I know that a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, like blah blah down to earth. But like he's actually truly just like a really genuinely good person. And then I've also met who have I met? Oh, okay, so technically haven't met, but like my dad walked past them. When we were in the Bahamas, I was like 13, so this was probably like, oh goodness, 2015. We were at the Atlantis Resort. The cast of Modern Family was actually staying at the same resort we were at, and I had no idea, but our entire family like loves Modern Family. Oh my gosh. So we were like shook, and some of my dad's work friends, their kids actually played football with Nolan, which was really cool. But you know, I'm 13 and I have absolutely no hand-eye coordination, so I did not participate in that. My dad walked past Julie Bowen, who's Claire Dumphy, and she had sunglasses on and her hat was pulled really far down, so you could tell she did not want to be bothered. So obviously, you know, my dad didn't say anything to us, he just let her walk by, and then afterwards he was like, guys, that was her, and we were just... Like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. But you know, they are people too. And she was there on vacation with the cast, obviously to relax. And even though we have good intentions, it still takes energy because you're, I don't know. I'm sure it's so hard being famous because you're constantly being bombarded by people. So that's not really something we wanted to put them through. We just let them exist, but it was really cool because they were posting pictures and I was like, oh my gosh, I just walked by there yesterday. Yeah, so that was really fun to see. And then my mom's uncle, he lives in Norway. His, he makes music, he performs at small venues and stuff. But he actually plays piano with Elvis Presley's piano player. I think his name is Glenn D. Harden. So they play together, which is really cool. Kind of far off. I guess that's not really the question, but I'll just say anyway. Ronald Reagan actually went to the same college as my grandpa and my dad and my uncle. Eureka College, which is in Illinois, super close to where I was born. My grandpa actually taught him how to swim which is pretty cool we have like framed letters in our basement from ronald reagan to my dad which is cool they just were normal people who grew up in the same town and then kind of i don't know had a different path second question is would you like to be famous i think that i would say no i don't think i would want to be famous because i enjoy being able to go grocery shopping i love grocery shopping that's like one of my favorite things also i like that on youtube i can pick 
what you guys see like i get to decide none of my life that i don't want out there is out there that's something like i feel so bad for people who are famous because i couldn't imagine having anything and everything i've ever done or i'm going to do out of my control and everyone gets to decide what they think about it and if I look ugly when I walk outside my house that everyone's gonna see it not that famous people look ugly not that anyone looks ugly I just mean in general you know when you're like bumming around you don't want other people around that's just not really especially like traveling for example they have no control over who's gonna be in those airports and I don't know about you guys but whenever I travel I'm traveling in comfort and not in style yeah and normally I'm grouchy I guess I'm not really um I don't know I don't like talking talking all the time. I love in, like enjoying just like being to myself, listening to music, being quiet, but I also like talking. So I guess, I don't know. It just depends, but I think that would be so incredibly difficult to constantly be like on. I don't know. I could never do it. So kudos to them. That's not for me. Third question. If you could change one thing that happened in your life, what would it be? I don't think... I think that there are things in my life that I wish I could have done differently, like I wish I could have behaved a little better or had a different outlook on it, but honestly I don't think, I know it's so cliche, like I wouldn't change anything, but I, I genuinely don't think I would have changed anything because everything was part of some plan and I'm very happy with where I am now and if I didn't do the things that I had done, I don't know if I would be here and that scares me. So I enjoy being able to make choices now and go, I did that then, but I'm doing this now. Yeah, super cliche, but there you go. If you could live anywhere, where would that be? Okay, this is a loaded question because when I was little, I used to beg to go live in Antarctica. I don't know why. I love the cold, I love snow. I don't know, I just love like penguins. And so I really wanted to live in Antarctica for a long time, but obviously pretty bummed when I found out you can actually live there. So because I can't do that and I absolutely love Michigan's weather, we don't have like a bunch of natural disasters we get winter and summer and all that but i think michigan is super bipolar in the sense that like one day it's 80 degrees and the next day it's snowing and i can i don't know sometimes i appreciate it and i'm like okay cool i can literally wear things from the opposite end of my closet and then other times i'm like are you serious mother nature like hello i'm trying to tan i think that i would love to live maybe in la in the park super close to big bear so i could go and ski because i love skiing skiing's a huge part of my life we would go up to Boyne every single year with the Blitzes, the same people we go to North Carolina with. When I was little, I went through all of their like little kitty classes and then I started skiing with my family because they would drop us off, you know, it was like a little class. They would teach you how to ski and how to do your pizza so you don't go crazy down the hill. And then started skiing with my friends and I just absolutely love skiing. So I think I would want to live near Big Bear but also close enough to the city that I could go to the Grove, for example. I guess the only thing that would be the downside is that everything in LA is just so expensive, but also being primarily plant-based, there's a lot more options down there and I could probably more easily attain that lifestyle, whereas like here, it's not very common. I don't know. I'm just going off on tangents right now, to be honest. I'd say probably LA, but I, I really like Michigan, so I don't think I'll be moving anytime soon. Have you ever been in the snow? Yes, I love snow so much. Who would be your ideal partner? <laughs> so definitely a person of strong faith someone who believes in god i think someone who just like never fails to make you laugh i know that's very cliche but truly one of the best things in life is just enjoying it with another person so i guess just a happy positive addition to my life that makes me so much more happy to be doing whatever i'm doing i don't think i'm looking for anything right now i'm just kind of happy existing i am very happy being able to decide what i do and surround myself with but there you go <sighs> anyways oops how many pairs of shoes do you have? I would actually have to count. Give me a second. I have 53 pairs of shoes. I know. And that does not include like snow boots, like ski boots. I don't count those as shoes. So, oops. Favorite holiday, like beach, mountain, or city. So like that you travel. I think it's a mixture. I really love beach vacation. I love being able to just do nothing. Lay there and tan. Have a pina colada or whatever. Virgin pina colada. Um, <laughs> but if I am going to like visit my grandpa, he lives in Illinois still. I genuinely 
genuinely enjoy kind of like being on a farm. Does that make sense? I love being at my grandparents' farm in Norway and I love being in the cornfields in Illinois and just running around and being on my skateboard and just being outside, playing with dogs. That's one of my favorite things. I just love being outside. So wherever that may be, country or beach, I love them both. Do you like TV talent shows? I think America's Got Talent used to be really cool. I don't keep up with TV anymore, to be honest. I don't really watch a lot of stuff. I know I'm gonna get so much hate for this. I have not watched The Office. I haven't watched The Outer Banks show, Grey's Anatomy, Gossip Girl, Gilmore Girls. I'm really bad at the whole keeping up with like, duh. I don't know why. I just suck at watching TV. And maybe that's a good thing. I'm just so bad at being on my phone. Truly, for the death of me, I cannot reply on anything. Like, I'm so bad. Do you like scary movies? Uh, no. Hard no. Pass. I watched The Conjuring and I couldn't sleep for three weeks. I watched some movie with some nun and they like made this lady eat her throw up and like, no, no thank you, I'll pass. Horror movies are no. I would just end the look really quick. Osea white charcoal mattifying makeup setting spray. I don't know if the waving helps at all, but peace of mind, right? I'm not super into makeup, I don't really understand it, but this I can do, sort of. I think eventually I will expand my horizons, but as of currently, I'm not mad about it, so that's how it's gonna be. Thank you so much for staying tuned during this weird adventure of crazy Q&A questions. Please comment down below if you have an interesting story that correlates to any of these questions or if you just wanna mention something, whatever it may be. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button because I love seeing you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye. I know I keep saying goodbye, but last thing, I swear. I just finished my hair. I put these little baby clips in and I'm kind of thinking that I want to recurl these little face framer bits, but I also like how they look not curled. Fix you guys up on a better surface. You can actually see what I'm wearing. I'm wearing these black ripped denim shorts and this is actually the end of a t-shirt. I think I thrifted it and then I cropped it. So this is literally just the bottom and then I cut it. So it's a string now. That is this belt. So this is also another shirt I thrifted that I cropped and I kind of love the slouchy, but then you have the hair to elevate it. And I think I'll add some earrings and ring. But that is the final look. And I'm very excited. Even though you'll only be able to see this, I'm still proud of the lip gloss that I did. But yeah, okay. That's all. Goodbye. Again, for real.